transphobia still exists and is widely common. There are genuinely people out there who think that you're a kid, this is a phase, or you don't actually know what you're talking about. I know that I'm trans. I didn't say one day, eh, I just want to try out being trans. No, um, so just suck it up. <laughs> we are who we are. I'm glad that boy mama finally saying something. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Ladies and gentlemen, $5 shirts, $10 hoodies. We got a tremendous sale on all the things we're trying to get out of the warehouse. We got so much new merch. Check out this shirt that I'm wearing right now. My wife says this is the best shirt that we have on the store. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I think we got a lot of good ones. But you need to get this shirt right now. It's going to sell out. We're selling them too fast to hold on to and if we have to restock you can hit notify me when made available and we get it available to you new products we have a bunch of new products getting ready for christmas we got biden the biden that stole christmas we got donald trump the hood trump that y'all love with the with the santa hat on it and we got a bunch of other uh, uh merch that we've just dropped hoodies beanies the coldest conservative merch in the game like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get notifications anytime i go live make Make sure you uh, subscribe, still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Zaya, you know, D Wade LaBoy, that used to be D Wade LaBoy. Now D Wade done turned his LaBoy into a girl. And then he want to call his little boy Zaya. Finally, at least this is finally, I heard uh, Zaya's mother, Lil Wayne's, uh, uh, Lil Wayne's, D Wade's son, biological mother has come out and she wants the courts to stop D Wade from transitioning his kid fully by changing the name and all of the other stupid gender and all this other stupid stuff on this child's birth certificate or on this child's identification. I think that this is a power move and, and every mother that loved their children should be willing to do this. D Wade should be ashamed of himself. I say this a thousand times. What man would do his son like this? And ladies and gentlemen, this is not just my opinion. It's not because B. Tatum is a conservative and B. Tatum don't care about people. I love people enough that I'm going off of scientific data that projects and tells us that young children are too, the kids this age are too young to be making final decisions like this. Now let's go to the statistical data. All right, go up to the, the article is from the National Library of Medicine. Scroll down a little bit. It says, data indicates that 82% of transgender individuals have considered killing themselves, 40% have attempted suicide, and these suicide attempts are much higher amongst transgender youth. Now, let's go to the next thing. There's a, a concept where they grow out of it. They call it grow out of it. According to statistical data, 94% of children grow out of it. Let me read this to you so you guys are very well familiar with, with the terminology. The phenomenon of transgender children growing out of it, their, tra their transgender ideology or identity, um, by the time that they're adolescents or adults is called uh, desistance by gender researchers. They've, they've considered this term to be desistance. And it says for decades, follow-up studies on transgender kids have shown that the uh, uh, substantial majority of these young people, 65 to 94 percent, eventually no longer identifies as transgender. 65 to 94 percent no longer identify as transgender. That means majority of people who are young people, who people are, you know, that are considering to be transgender, they want to be transgender. They grow out of it. They no longer believe that they want to be this way. Why do they do that, Mr. Tatum? Because when you hit puberty, when you become more mature as an as a, as a individual, then you start really realizing that that's not what you want. They brainwash these kids. They try to make it a fad. They try to make it trendy. And therefore, young people get involved and enveloped in this stuff, especially if you're a kid that's a loner. You don't, you know, you have, you don't have a father at home. All of these contributing factors you may want to identify something else because you get attention, because you get praise, because you are, are of a unique class of people. And young people fall into that. And then they grow up 
Then they go to, through puberty. Then little boys start falling in love with little girls like they are supposed to, like God has intended them to. But you know what, D-Wade and them, go back to that D-Wade picture. D-Wade and them want to transition this kid to look like that. He want his little boy to be this. And I'm going to say this every time I talk about D-Wade, and shout out to the right-wing angel, because I tell you what, all of my news come from the right-wing angel's articles. They, listen, they finna screw this boy up. And I'm going to say this every time I talk about the D-Wade situation. When you 12, 13, 15, or whatever the case may be, you can be like this, and you are right, right? Somebody may think that's a girl. That little person is going to look in the mirror and feel feminine. And feel like a girl. And they can buy girl clothes. Because they can fit in girl clothes. But when Zaya turns 18. When, it, it, when Zaya turns 21, 25. Homeboy going to be 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Homeboy hand going to be this big. Homeboy feet going to be hanging off the edge of them. At the edge of them heels. Dragging on the ground. Homeboy back going to be this big. And if you don't cut the you know, if you don't cut the jangling off, it's gonna be hanging out your dress. Nobody gonna think you look like a girl. Ain't no man gonna want you. You're gonna be at the club at the bar this tall. All your other girls, this little feminine, you this tall. And if you don't fix your voice box, you're gonna be saying, What's up? Do I look cute to you? How you feeling sexy? Pretty good. Whoa, you have a deep voice. That's not all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that ain't gonna. Yeah, look, it ain't cute. And then all your other girls gonna be get hit on, just like the just like the fat chick in the group. And I'm not trying to be funny about nobody, but everybody know that friend that's overweight. She's not as pretty as her other friends, and all the dudes be going for the cute little skinny ones, and they leave our big girl. You know, you know, I ain't lying. And it make you feel some type of way, don't it? Now, some people they can control it. Some people just they don't want to get in the gym. But it does make you feel some type of way because you feel isolated. You feel like all the guys want them and don't want me. Let me bring it into the men's terms because y'all don't care if we badge men. Like the, the, the guy who ain't got the money, ain't got the swag, ain't got the confidence in the group. Women choose the other guys and don't choose him. I was that guy. I, I was terrified to talk to women. I was a good looking guy, but I didn't want to talk to women. I hated rejection. I would go out and my boys would be hitting on all the fine girls. And I'd be sitting in the corner just too shy to talk to anybody. It make you feel some type of way when everybody else getting attention and you not. And little, little Zay Zay and all these other kids that they brainwashing, they going to get to the club and they girls going to be hit on and they going to they gonna have to give the, the non-disclosure. <laughs> you know, they they going to have to talk. They, a dude come sit down at the table with you, you going to have to say, hey, hey, before we go too far past the bar, I got to tell you something. I got a third leg. That's what you're going to have to tell somebody. I got a third leg. I, did, I, I was born this way. I was born like a man. You know, like, I ain't really like them. So don't get to touching me too much because you're going to feel something that you're not familiar with. You're going to have to disclose that to somebody before you date. But when you're young and you haven't been dating, you don't understand that this is what your future is. You don't understand you're not going to be comfortable like every other girl. You're going to have to give disclaimers. And then dudes are going to be turned off. Majority of them. Maybe some person will like you, but then the problem lies, do they like you because they like you or they like you because they got a fetish? Uh-oh, uh-oh. They ain't telling you about people with fetishes. They ain't going to like you. They just want to do stuff with you because they, like, they, they got a little thing going on. So you're not going to find, you may not find true love. You may not find true happiness. You don't have ovaries. You're not going to be able to have children. You're going to be isolated. You're going to be much different. You're going to have a whole bunch of things that little kids like this don't know is coming. They don't understand that that's going to happen to them. That's why the suicide rate is so high. Because they picture to you, you feel like you're in the wrong body, and you feel like if you change, that you're going to feel different. You're not. You're not going to feel different. You're not going to be treated different. You're not going to be able to go into the bathroom with, with other women because you ain't a woman. But they don't want to tell you that. They just want you to, they just want you to fall apart and crumble and, and, and be a statistic of committing suicide or attempted suicide. It's a shame that D-Wade doing his, doing his son like this. And I'm glad that the mama came out and said something. And I hope the courts intervene and say, look, unless both parents unanimously agree on this, there's no way in the world one parent can force this upon a child that they both share. 
Anyway, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what I said. Am I tripping? Am I on or something? Make sure you go to the Austin Tatum store. Get all of our cool merch. This shirt is on fire. I'm telling you, y'all. I don't think we're going to be able to keep up with this shirt. It, they, they're flying off the charts right now, and they're going to keep flying. And my wife even said that this is the greatest shirt that we made. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you to, to decide that. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. All right.